So now without a riser, with those connected, and without my plate connected, I can now lift this up as high as I want and do any project that is as tall as I want. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna give you an X-Tool S1 hack that I think X-Tool might not be happy with uh, that I'm showing you this, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways, and uh, yeah, stay tuned, so here we go. All right guys, so I have an X-Tool S1 right here, and I absolutely love it, but the kit that came with did not have the riser base. I went to go do a project that I had took this base off so that it can fit underneath it, but I got an error uh, using the proprietary software and it just wouldn't function. So I came up with a hack uh, that might help you out and save you probably about 200 bucks. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So you can see right here that I have my riser base uh, removed from the X-Tool S120 watt. You could see that it's removed from here. You could see that I have wood going all the way through and I have a little bit of a piece that rises up on each side. For some reason, this is just a hair lower, but it's okay. So what I did was I removed these. What you're gonna have to do is remove all your screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I believe those these up at the front and the back. So you're gonna have to have that removed. If you come over here and you look, there's one, two, three pieces that need to connect to be able to make this function. And the quick and simple hack is to have a piece of wire that's about 11 inches and you put it underneath these screws right here. One, two, and three. This one's removed because I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't have this connected. So let's go back to the project. You can see right here that I have my logo in this area. Right now my laser's up at this point right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm connected to the S1 and I'm not doing any crazy uh, videoing or anything like that screenshot. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead over here to process. Framing works fine. So let's go ahead and hit framing. It's gonna come over here. We're gonna push the button. And everything seems to work fine. But what we wanna do is let's come over here to process and let's go ahead and hit the start function. All right, this is the error that you get, the base plate or riser base exceptions. It is not properly connected. You gotta go ahead and somehow set this on your machine and that riser is $200 extra. So if you don't have that riser and you need to do something, a project that is literally, you know, an inch and a half or two inches, you can't do it unless you have this riser. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can. So we're gonna go ahead and hit confirm. Then we're gonna come over here and like I said, there's, I already have these two connected with a piece of copper wire and you can see right here, this is loose. I did that on purpose because I actually took it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw that back in and show you real quick. So I'm just using the same screws that come with the machine and I'm going to leave the little washer that's on there and that's gonna kind of help to grab that piece of wire. Boo -boo -boo -boo. So now you can see that this wire is connecting all three of these screws together. And you can see I don't have a riser plate or anything. So let's come back over here to, I think I have a piece of wood underneath. Yep, so this is where it is right here. I'll stop it real quick, but we're gonna go ahead and hit start. Now look at the error that I get. Please close the lid before continuing. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's confirm. Let's go ahead and hit process again and start. Now we hit this button here. And there it is. So now without a riser, with those connected, and without my plate connected, I can now lift this up as high as I want and do any project that is as tall as I want. I could do something that's two inches, five inches, 10 inches, and whatever, and I don't have the $200 riser plate. Let's go ahead and pause, cancel this. Let's hit okay. And we are good to go. So again, without the riser, just have a piece of wire that's connecting these three screws, and you should be able to now use your X tool and raise it up for pieces that are a little bit smaller. I meant taller. 
So might be able to save you a couple hundred bucks by doing so. Uh, again, I don't think Xtool is really going to be happy with me with doing this video, but you know what? I might save somebody a couple hundred bucks or in a last minute pinch because I was, I was in a pinch. I had to do a, do a project that uh, I really wanted to use this Xtool and I couldn't do it, but kind of figured this out. So, all right guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead down, subscribe to the channel, hit that big black bell button. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. But until that next video, make sure y'all do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.